fantastic view. Now elephants usually live in a herd controlled by the dominant mother, who is usually the oldest in the group. But when all the so other male all the males reach the age of puberty, that's 12 to 18 years, they are usually chased away from the herd by their own mothers. They go and form their own bachelor herds group, where they keep on fighting among themselves to establish a pecking order. After that, they lead a solitary life. The only time they join their mothers, when the, the only time when those males join their mothers is when the mothers pass near where those males are, like in the watering area or in the salt lake, like here. And there is a group of mothers coming with their babies. And when they join the mothers in that situation, you will always see the male extending their trunk and putting their trunk underneath the height of the, the hind legs of the mother to test whether there is any mother who is in distress or who wants a baby. After that, if there is any mother who wants a baby, you see them um, making a cottage behavior, and after that, you see them making. After that, they lead a solitary life. That one turning back is a way of submitting. And the big male, which seems to be like it's having five legs, is testing whether there is any mother who need a baby. After that, uh, the male continue with their own solitary life. This that is a male, and it's usually alone, is just joining them to test whether there is anyone who need a mating. So I'll be talking more of these animals in terms of their behaviors. And elephants lactate their babies for four to six years. For six years, uh, in that case, you find a mother lactating more than two babies, one big and another one small. And this is because they give birth after every four years. They greet each other by putting their trunks in the mouth of each other. And the separate one there is a male which is a subordinate to the one that is now testing with the, with the mother are in estrus. So male will always find, lead a solitary life. And if you see them, their color is different, meaning they are just coming from different uh, area with the different soil color. And this is uh, some of their behaviors. This is a watering area and there are so many other animals. Over there, they are also spotted hyenas. But more, I'll be talking about the African elephants. They dig also down to get mineralized soil to assist in their digestion, for they take a lot of vegetation. And to digest that vegetation, they take a lot of mineralized soil to assist in the digestion. Have a look at how they greet each other by extending their trunk in the mouth of each other. That's how elephants greet each other. The subordinate one put, extend the trunk first and put it in the mouth of the dominant one. And the dominant put the head above the dominant, the subordinate one. That's a way of submitting and greeting each other. You see, after that he is, there is no confrontation, no fighting. Well, it's so nice, yeah. It's so nice, so nice the way they behave and submit to each other. After that, those men, you don't see them fighting each other. No, you don't. That's how. And you see they have behavior is like the very close to the, to the ordinary human being. You see, still greeting each other, still coining and coiling their trunk. And it's a way of submitting. So nice. Very interesting. Greeting, greeting, saying jambo, jambo. Yes. They are greeting each other. Maybe, maybe okay. playing.